5. He was playing Joker before he finished Persona 5, but he played, he finished that game, and his Joker is going through the roof right now. I'm excited to see this match between the two. Let's see what happens now. All right, this is actually our top 48 qualifier right here, and it is a best of three, so really top heavy talent fighting in such a short set. Mm -hmm. Speaking of ledge trapping, as we were talking about uh, Richter earlier, this is another character, Krom, who has phenomenal ledge trapping, can throw out so many moves at the ledge to get your opponent to, to pick an option, and then you, you punish heavily for it. All right, getting the down tilt in. Uh, if you guys are wondering, Rivers is ranked currently in the PGR for this season, ranked number 18, 18 above man. Kamehameha and below MVD. What a strong level to be pgr against other players like that. Yeah. Oh, there's the jab, the back air by the ledge, taking the first stock. A really, really strong conversion that we're going to see from Trom over and over again. Yeah. Got to be course. careful getting caught by that up B2. It does mm -hmm. so much damage. I like the, oh. the use of down smash really early to kind of catch up Krom for going for that up B. Yeah, you got it, man. Especially if um, the Krom player isn't perfectly spacing the recovery to the ledge, it's a very easy punish. Right oh, I like that. Great attempt. And he immediately able to tech. I feel like that might have been an input on Eon to still survive. Uh -oh. He uses a high recovery, and he's able to get over Rivers. Yeah, but he has so much lag that it didn't even matter. He just got grabbed out of it, and thrown back off stage. Rivers at the ledge now, getting off with the neutral air. Here's another one. Oh man, looking for the jab. That would have probably spelled his fate right there. Air dodging to the ledge. He's got to do the... Nice. Yeah, he knew on going off stage with the back air. He knew Kral may have good aerial drift, but it's going to be enough aerial drift to give Joker the back air and the stock. Eon still down, but not by out. Ooh. He able to come roll in, but I like the fact that River stopped himself to make sure he was there for the grab and there for the edge guard. And Forward tilt to take the stock. Yeah, punishing that neutral get up from Eon. Eon down to his last stock right here. The falling up air converting into a lot of damage. Oh, Keeps it big. going off the platform with the upbeat. Doesn't get the second hit. 57% regardless. And it's still going, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. It stop. does not stop. Stalls himself with a second jump to make sure he might try to confuse Eon on the shield and either go for a grab or call out an aerial. Great stuff from Rivers. Good dash dancing here and making sure that he's kind of playing around Arsene when it's activated. And each time you can see that Rivers, he takes him he takes him up to these high percents and he gets Arsene here. But the thing about having Arsene is he has so much percent and the way that Rivers kind of knows how to play around it. Yeah. Tech chase. And Rivers already looking for these uh, falling air conversions. That's going to be able to convert into the forward smash and into the up smash for some really early KOs. Back throw. This is Eon's edge guard here. He might have been looking for the back air, but he had the missed opportunity. Or he could be going for Ooh. the game. Still not going to be enough to Down get air? the KO oh, with I like oh my it. god. Fortunately for Eon, he lands on the stage with that one. All right, just going to toss him back off the stage. He gets the down tilt punish here. Doesn't find the dash tag on the landing. Nice, using dash dance. He wants to play around that shield. Able to narrowly dodge the Aegon. He's trying to be careful when he comes in, but yeah, that's the one thing about Joker, right? He's one of the best whip punishers in the game. Yeah. Down to our last stocks, but Rivers with a massive 130% lead. Eon getting the dash attack in, though. Sharking below Rivers here. Looking for a down air setup, but that could potentially convert into tons of damage. Not quite the KO just yet. Any hit that lands from Rivers right now will certainly take the KO from Eon. And the up tilt finds its mark, taking that first game away from Eon. Yeah, Rivers able to take game one against Eon. Um, uh, pretty solidly, I would say, Eon had a couple things going on for himself. He was able to get uh, Joker, have some combos there, but I feel like the edge guarding could have been done a little bit different. I like the fact that he went for down smash because he was trying to catch Rivers on the slope up there with the up B, knowing that you can get um, Kong out that way. All right, so we're going to go game number two here. Uh, I mean, pretty solid, you know, commanding victory from Rivers. However, it was down to the last stock. And with even with the percent difference that they had, Arsene could have made all the difference there. However, Eon thinks it's a better choice right now to switch to his tried and true main, that being the Fox. And so far, he's just stuck at the ledge. 
Yeah, sometimes, man, when your new character can just perform the way you want him to, you gotta go back to bare bones and remember yeah. the basics, right? The character that kind of brought you out here yeah. is Fox. The problem was that he wasn't really finding the conversions that he needed, and I, I know Eon has those conversions online, but maybe maybe he hasn't ha practiced them against Krom or even a Krom of this level, so he knows I definitely have my combos down Exactly. With Fox. Not only that, that's kind of one of those things you have as Fox, right? The, the Vortex, it's still yeah. out there, and it's one of those things you can do against a lot of the Fire Emblem characters. They still fear. Absolutely. I mean, Kron has a Vortex of his own that's up there, but one of those things that Eon's able to do is still keep up with it with Fox. Great use of the recover there, and then stick around the platform mm -hmm. and know that Rivers made the attempt to try to go ahead right. and make a great play around the shield. Forcing out the air dodge with a jab and catching the landing with a grab. A very slight 20% lead for Rivers right here, but that can spell all the difference. A single jab will convert into a KO, but oh. Eon finding his mark with the up tilt into the up air. Double parry. Most players certainly in KO percent of that. Forward tilt almost doing the trick from center stage. What a strong attack. Forward air to call out Eon's aerial play. Yeah, so oh. I, know, uh, I was gonna say the neutral getup was kind of off, uh, yeah. kind of the obvious option for him to yeah. make here, and Rivers called that out. And Rivers consistently punishing too. That's not the first time he has punished uh, Eon for doing a neutral getup onto the stage. Exactly. 14% now on that stock though. He's got to be careful because Shark Fox is sharking underneath him with these uppers. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you want to talk about sharking what underneath here? Rivers beautiful. sharking this whole entire stage, Ooh. making sure that if Eon is around him... He can't even get back. Goes for the high recovery, really smart avoidance by Eon. Good parry. This is one of those things that start to condition players to stop making, start, stop making those options plays, is when you're seeing consistent parries from Rivers. Yeah, this is kind of causing Eon to be a little bit more alarmed now because he's able to parry a lot of his moves. Another up B. I like the fact that Rivers goes off the stage, and even if wow. he doesn't get the aerial, he goes for the up B, letting Eon know, fine, I didn't, get, I didn't get you with an aerial, I will get you with an up B, and I get percent out of it. And, and I love the positioning that Rivers had on that stock, right? He threw out the F tilt, made Eon think that he could roll on the stage, and he's like, ha, you thought, I'm just going to do it again. F tilt, taking that second stock. Oh. Unbelievable. He was at like 40. Unbelievable finish by Rivers right there. Getting the jab to forward smash? What? What the hell? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm I'm watching that VOD again. I, I, I'm a Krom player now, so I'm going I'm to I'm study that. He's certainly one of the best to do it with that character, so not, not totally shocked, but I mean, when you make a, a player like Eon, who is so good, just look free, like, that says a lot about you, man. And that's why he's on the PGR. That's why yeah, he's PGR, number 18. Yeah, PGR, PGR number 18, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. PGR number 18. And, and I'm, that's I'm, all I'm, I gotta say. I, I, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised to see him climb even higher than that, man. He's definitely has yeah, this tons is, and tons if, of skills. If you guys are back home and watching, what kind of wondering what kind of tier of event this is, is certified an eight tier, eight -tier event. Yeah. So this is really uh, going to count a lot for Rivers, especially taking over Eon. I know as of late, Eon has kind of been struggling, you know, losing Pichu, losing a lot of players. He's kind of picked up Joker, and then he kind of is a little, uh, you know, really weird relationship with Fox. So for him, he's kind of, a lot of players, I feel like, in Sohar are kind of stuck between their old and their new main. And that's kind of what's seeing what's going on yeah. here. Uh, while we're on break, let's go ahead.